Alright, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to do a uh, target specific word list generation for password cracking. Um, obviously there are a lot of different word lists out there to use for different password cracking attacks, but the problem is a lot of times passwords are specific to the individual, so uh, there's actually a tool in Backtrack that can be used in order to generate word lists that are specific to your victim that you're trying, whose system you're trying to break into. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open a shell, and then I'm going to change directory to pen test passwords, then cupp, which is common user password profiler, and actually all this is is a Python script inside the directory. So uh, go ahead and run python cup.py. And then, as you can see, you can use the uh, dash i switch to get the interactive questions to develop the word list. So let's do uh, Python cup pi and dash i. And then it's going to ask you a series of questions about the person of whom you're trying to break into their password or get their password. So uh, just going to enter some sample information. So Bob Smith. Uh, for a nickname, we'll do Stubble. Birthday, 2306-1981. And then, wife's name. Uh, nickname. Now what's good about the modern internet is that you can actually acquire a lot of this information by just looking at someone's Facebook or some other social media website. And then pet's name. Company name. Uh, then you can add any additional keywords that it doesn't specifically ask for that will be included in the list. Uh, and you can add as many as you want and just separate them out by commas. So, I'm just going to include cats. Uh, then, I would always recommend doing the additional options here, such as special characters at the end, random numbers, because it's just going to increase the size of your word list and make it that much more likely that it's going to be successful in breaking the password. Um, leap mode is actually pretty interesting because it actually uses uh, number substitution for different letters in a word, such as like 1 for L or 3 for E, 7 for T. Okay, and then as soon as you finish answering all the questions, it generates the word list. You can use ls to look at the contents of the de or directory, and then it just drops it in that exact directory that you're already in. So uh, usually taking the, or it just takes the first name of the victim and uh, creates a .txt file. So then we can look at that with uh, the vim text editor, so vim and bob.txt. And as you can see, it generates an absolutely massive word list of different possible passwords that are specific to information about the individual. And so we'll go ahead and close out of that. And then I'll just show you an example of how you could use this word list. Um, so then uh, I'm actually currently mounted to a Windows file system. So we'll go ahead and drop the SAM file from that. So we'll go into the Windows, then the System32 folder, and then the config folder inside of that. If it ever opens. There it is. Okay. And then config folder. And then with a Windows file system, what you're going to want to use is both the SAM file and the system file in order to create the system key that will be used to de encrypt the SAM file that contains the password hashes for each of the user accounts. So, go ahead and copy that to 
Oh, sorry, that's security. That's not system. Uh, here, here we go. System. Okay, so I copied both of those to my home folder. And then what we're going to want to do, okay, verify that they're in them with uh, ls, and then we'll go ahead and copy uh, sam system to, and we want to drop them in the directory that is used with the John the Ripper so that we can actually easily use that password cracking engine against the SAM file. So uh, we'll go ahead and drop it in pen test, passwords, and John. And then we'll go ahead and change our directory to that. So pen test, oh, you know what? We are not currently in the home, or we're in the home directory right now, so go back to the root. And then pen test passwords John. Okay. And then let's verify that we do have, and we do, the system file right here and SAM file right here. Okay. So then what we want to do is create the uh, boot key. So use BK Hive system boot key. And then go ahead and create our output files and test passwords John then output one dot txt and then sam dump two to dump the password hashes into a text file, use the boot key that was generated, and then output two dot txt and then if we look at that output to file it should contain our password hashes and as you can see it does and the one that we're going after is the victim that we profiled the password for which is Bob Smith so ah. We'll go ahead and close out of that. And then we'll go ahead and run from the John directory the uh, John the Ripper application. And we want to use our word list that we just generated for Bob Smith. So word list equals and then pen test passwords. Uh, CUPP and then bob.txt and then we want to use the password cracking format of nt and then uh, we will go ahead and specify the file that contains the password hashes that we're trying to crack or the target file so that's going to be uh, the uh, here we go. Yeah. Pin test passwords. John. Output two dot txt, and then we run it against it, and as you can see, it's actually already cracked the password, which Bob Smith's password was the wife's name, but with uh, number character substitutes, so one for the I. R3 in 3, so Irene, and then her birth date, 1983. And so uh, that's a way to generate a password word list that can be used for cracking passwords specific to a user. All right, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, I'll see you next time.